Hello class, good morning. Today we are, as a group 6, going to present our project. In this project, we have chosen to find project on an origin data narrative. In this group, we are total 4 people, namely Vivek, Romeo, Ariba and I. Therefore, we decided to divide it into two groups where Vivek and I worked on data collection and data cleaning part. On, on the other hand, Ariba and Romeo worked on visualization part. Furthermore, talking about the project, it is based on Walt Disney, where we will be visualizing different graphs on the basis of data Walt Disney. To explain more, we will be clearing Walt Disney total revenue from their businesses such as Disney Media Network, Walt Disney Park and Resort, and Disney Consumer Project so far. Therefore, now I'm going to hand over this project to Vivek, who will be presenting data cleaning part. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Vivek Kaushik and I will walk you through on the data cleaning part. So we have majorly used Excel and Python for our data cleaning activity. Uh, as a data set which we took from dataworld.com, uh, it contains majorly three CSV files. Uh, and after studying the data, we have observed that um, there were multiple columns which contains null values. And for a few columns, uh, the format was not appropriate for the visualization. So we have removed or changed the uh, format of those, those columns with the help of Excel. So if I move to the next slide, uh, and if you will check on the screen that uh, Disney interactive column, uh, if, if I took this example, there were multiple uh, rows which contains uh, null values for this column. And so we have used Excel to remove such type of uh, data from the uh, data set so that our visualization would be more accurate and the graphs would be more uh, relevant for our topic. If we check on the uh, another slide, uh, and I took this example of release underscore date column. The format of this uh, column was not appropriate and we have changed the format from MMDDYY to DDMMYY format for the better visualization. And it helped us uh, a lot for uh, in our creating the chart. We have also used Python for a uh, few of our columns uh, for which the data was not uh, accurate and we don't require it. For example, in this, uh, in this data set, we have this inflation adjusted gross column, uh, which was not uh, relevant to our topic and we don't want it in our data set. So we have used Python to remove uh, this column and uh, we have used the specific code for um, removing the, this type of data. So basically we have uh, removed duplicates and irrelevant observations. We have fixed the structural errors in the data set we have filtered the unwanted outliers and we also handle the missing data so this is what we um, covered in the data cleaning part so that our final data set would be more relevant for the, our uh, topic and visualization so after performing these activity the final uh, data set comes out like this which was very clean and it was very nice for the uh, visualization activity so no i'll give one overview of the Walt Disney Company um, over the years. So initially I mentioned, I gave an overview of Walt Disney. Um, you know, it, it all started with cartoons, um, you know, short cartoon productions um, and magazines. Um, but, but, you know, uh, with business, um, you know, transformation will occur. And um, We've seen where, from the data we've seen where there has been a significant shift um, in, in, in the business model. Um, to date, we have seen where Disney now has significant investments in parks, um, TV. Um, they have more uh, variety of genres, um, you know, comedy, adventure, um, you know, uh, action, movies, um, and so on. They also have more variety of rated movies. Initially, they started off with only PG. Um, now they they have 
movies that are also rated movies. So, all right. We've also seen where they uh, had major acquisitions. Um, ABC Inc. in 1996 was a significant investment. Um, about $9 billion was pumped into acquiring ABC Incorporated. Uh, we saw Fox Family also being acquired. Pixar, which is an animation movie production company. Marvel, 21st Century Fox. These were all strategic moves to help business, business stay ahead and stay competitive um, in, the, in, in, the, in the industry. Right? And we're, we'll be seeing how these acquisitions have helped business to stay uh, you know, stay profitable and increase their revenues over the years. In the next slide. Right. So at this point, Disney has four major business segments. Walt Disney Media Com Network, sorry, um, which is basically the TVs, TV stations, ABC, Disney, a and &E, AB ABC News, ESPN, and so on. And these were all uh, coming from that acquisition from the ABC Inc. in 1996. We have Wall, uh, we have Wall, Wall Disney Student Entertainment, which is more around the the the, um, the productions and uh, the movie productions. Um, we have Walt Disney Interactive, which was a strategy to kind of get in the gaming industry. However, uh, it, 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 it was, it was that, that, that move was, was canceled um, as they saw that it, it, it may have, it, it, it's better or it may have been more feasible to actually distribute, uh, you know, Disney gaming rights through existing game providers like Electronic Arts. We have Walt Disney Parks and Resorts, which is a popular uh, vacation um, product globally um, and we have Disney consumer products which are you know Disney um, you know cups and you know those sort of tangible items that are um, that are purchased as gifts for for kids and um, you know other other customers or fans of the Disney brand I, I will now hand over to Ariba, who will focus more on the Disney Media Network as it relates to movie production and the success over the years. Hi, I'm Ariba, the Business Intelligence Analyst of this group, and I have created Power BI Dashboard, which consists of four sheets, and we have used various graphs, as you can see here. So in total, we actually wanted to cover the Walt Disney Company's journey throughout the years, through the year 1937 to 2016. We came to know that there were 556 movies in this data set, with Star Wars being at the highest. We use a line graph over here so that we can show a comparison of revenue generation by each movie title. Moving along, we see that throughout the years, how much in total movies have earned Walt Disney movies from 1937 to 2016 and this gives us a hint that how throughout the years the movies ended up earning more and more. It seems like Disney is getting better at what it does. We can see here clearly that Disney doesn't just produce animated movies or family friendly movies. They, it has various genres such as adventures, black comedy, horror, musical, western, romantic comedy. Because we have such an sort of an ancient time frame, we also come across this time frame of World War II, which carried on from 1937 to 1945. And that actually caused a lot of hindrance in Disney productions and also led to some losses in revenue generation for Disney. A variety of movies that we talk about here, because Disney has a huge variety and a 
widespread reach when it comes to different genres, as we discussed earlier. We see that it has produced movies like Star Wars. It has produced movies like Finding Dory, which is an animated movie. Captain America, Captain Marvel, which are Marvel's cinematic new universe characters. These are mostly appealing for teenagers and young adults. We see movies such as The Lion King. We see Frozen for kids. We see Pirates of the Caribbean, which is more in the adult category. So we also found out that they produce different rated categorical movies, such as we have PG to R rated. Earlier, in my personal opinion, I thought it's just PG rated movies that they produce, but uh, they also produce R rated movies and G rated movies as well. Here we see uh, the count of movie titles by the directors. So uh, we can clearly see that Ron Clements is actually the producer that has produced highest amount of movies in Disney. And as we move along, we find that uh, producers and directors such as Don Hall, Chris Williams, Chris Sanders, which are among one of the most famous producers and directors in the Hollywood industry. Now let's look at the Power BI dashboard. Here we can see that there are 556 count kind of movie titles that we have mentioned. Uh, a data set consisted of 556 movie titles and 12 genres in total. So the main purpose of this was to showcase the journey of Walt Disney Company throughout the years. Movies started with Snow White, which were uh, in, during the late 1930s. And here we see latest movies because our data set consisted of movies till the date of 2016. The, some of the latest ones that we have is Captain America Civil War, which was one of the highest gross earning movies in Disney. When we come to the next sheet, we see slicer over here that we play along to see different, different gross earnings of different movie titles throughout the years. So for example, right now I have it at from 1988 to 2016. We can have a closer look during the recent years, the past 40, 50 years, how much earning does each movie, did the each movie uh, created, generated for Disney. We have 2016 at its highest with the total gross of at least 28. And here we have like 11, and here we have somewhat 64 mil. And th these, these values are in million, by the way. And here we see this pie chart. The pie chart actually helped us to understand the proportion of contribution by each genre. So as mentioned earlier, adventure played a huge role. We see that more than half of the revenue generation by each movies, adventure was one of the main parts of it. During these years, I we found out that Marvel had a great contribution, movies like Marvel and Star Wars especially. These movies have been a huge portion of contribution during the last uh, 10, 10, 15 years, easily. Then we have the next one, which is comedy, 7 billion. So Disney is actually famous for creating lighthearted movies, comedy movies. So we can see here that there's also a great proportion of movies that have uh, contributed a lot during the years, especially in year 1992. Here we see that more, way more than half, almost, 70% of the revenue was generated by comedy genre. We see uh, various movies uh, with as per their ascending, uh, descending order. So here is Star Wars at the top and we have some flop categories such as Zokoman and Walt and Alan Smith. These movies haven't gained that kind of attention. But when we move uh, back here, we see Avengers, again, one of the most famous franchise. We see Lion King, we see Toy Story. So this basically gives us an idea that these movies, which are actually uh, produced around in the past like 10, 15 years. So this gives us like the best idea of how uh, much Walt Disney movies have grown throughout the years. In the next sheet, we see movies gross earning by title. So here we see famous movies such as The Lion King, which earned $422 million worldwide. The Jungle Book with $550, $550 million worldwide. 
we go to all e with 223 million dollars worldwide so these are some of the most famous disney movies that we come across and here are the mpa rating of disney movies where we see pg as the highest with the co highest contribution over here then we have pg-13 at the next position then we have g-rated which is the family category and here we see movies such as finding nemo cars to monsters university then we come to r-rated which is basically for adults and we see movies like pretty women and enemy of the state which makes sense uh, because they are not children's movies and then we have this another category which is not rated by Disney and it has the most minimum proportion to our donor chart which is 0.41%. Here we see some of the most famous directors by movie titles and here we see Ron Clements. He has created, he has directed actually seven Disney movies as per our data set, then Wolfgang with seven, then we have Stephen J. Anderson with two pr uh, movie productions, Chris Williams with one. And most of these are quite familiar names because these are some of the best movie directors and producers in the entire industry. Now, this presentation will be taken forward by Romeo. So I hand it over to Romeo now. Welcome back, guys. So I'm going to sum up by giving or highlighting the main um insights which we've generated from the data uh walt disney started out with just one cartoon which was alice in wonderland um the company evolved into a full-scale entertainment company with four business segments um ranging from tv parks uh cons consumer products and um its movie production business it undertook strategic acquisitions to grow its business, um, uh, including the takeover of ABC Incorporated, uh, which opened significant opportunities to the TV market. A majority of its revenue is stemming from that segment, which is the TV segment. Um, the most successful movie over the years was Star Wars. Um, due, its, due to its unique characters and themes at the time in the 1970s. Its family-oriented products continue to enhance the brand. Right? So, so Disney continues to be among the top five uh, movie production companies in the world. Um, they are most famous among families and children alike. Um, they They've, in recent times, since the, their acquisition of um, of Pixar, uh, they they they've been dominating or uh, have been strong contenders in the Marvel type movies, and uh, we will continue to see that. Um, so so those are some of the high level highlights, um, just to show you know the origin the origin the origin of Disney and how they've evolved over the years. Thank you again. And, um, that's the end of the presentation.